Welcome to Daytona International Speedway, here for the running of the Daytona 500, here live on Taylor Tot 16. Well, not really live. Yeah, you got that right. It's not live at all. What are you talking about? I'm here with Billy Bob, as well as Larry McDonald. He's going to be joining us here in a little bit whenever we get through our ones to watch or whatever which we'll be doing in just a second. But my goodness, Billy Bob, it is the 2021 Daytona 500. This is going to be such an amazing event, Taylor. There has been so much hype ever since the first one, the first one, which was the 2020 Daytona 500. It was a great race. Unfortunately, it was overshadowed by the, um, the uh, crash by Jenny Wakeman into the guardrail. Uh, with Brad taking her into the guardrail like 200 miles per hour, uh, taking her out of contention for the Kelp Shake 400 the next week in the uh, Nixon's Racing League. But Taylor, I am certainly excited today. Once again, we are no longer doing these starting lineups. Instead, we will be doing our ones to watch, starting with Bully Bob. Jimmy Johnson is a seven-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, Taylor. He's tied with the late, great Dale Earnhardt and the king, Richard Petty, and most championships won by a single driver in NASCAR history. He might be retired and moving to IndyCar IRL, but he certainly is still racing in NASCAR virtually. I pick him to win this one. Chase Elliott is the former NASCAR Cup Series champion in 2020 and is the most popular driver in the sport right now currently. He's still very young and has a long career ahead of him. I'm picking him to do very good today. NRL drivers are also in the field. I feel a bit alone picking one of the NRL guys, but mine is Jenny Wakeman. After the Nicktoon shootout a week ago with her winning it, she is definitely destined to do good here today, especially after that terrifying like last year in this event that saw her leave on a stretcher. I'm hoping that she steps up to the task today and gets it done. Drivers, start your engines! As they will begin to roll off a of pit road, we will be going 15 laps here around Daytona. With how many cars is this, Billy? I think uh, we count uh, 25 off the starting grid. Wow. That might be the most we've had <laughs> in Daytona. Definitely during the series. Yeah, for sure. We have an action-packed house here for the Daytona 500 in 2021. Should be a very exciting race, folks. We're glad you're with us here on Taylor Tot 16. We've got two NASCAR greats here. We have Kevin Harvick in the four car, which um, got a lot of wins last season in the 2020 NASCAR Cup Series. Did not win the championship, surprisingly enough, but definitely won uh, the championship in the minds of many, many people, many, many fans of the sport. And Jimmy Johnson, of course, seven-time champion leading up front. Billy Bob's pick. Yup. For sure, my pick, boy. It's here. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> All right, Billy Bob, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's tear down the roof. As the pace car is about to pull in. And the pace car pulls off. The 2021 Daytona 500 begins now. Man, some contact between the 4 car and the 48. Yeah, I saw that definitely. As they were going into turn number 1, exiting turn number 1, they had some contact a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a wee bit. That'll be enough, though. Ooh, some more contact in between the field. They're 4 wide back there. Look at Danica Patrick inside the 10 car. Wow, Danica Patrick 4 wide with some people. Looks like Dale Earnhardt's about to be in there. Yeah, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that 88 car in that nationwide. Oh, we got some contacts. Oh my gosh, You're we got right, Brad. Brad Carbuncle, You're a right. few other drivers, Kyle yeah, Larson is involved. Yeah, fender's a little bit messed up, but... There's I Mr. Krabs in the 32, right. caution Sweet. is out. They're going to be racing back to the line. 
They are going to be racing back to the line. Here comes Jenny Wakeman. You can see Jenny Wakeman right there in that blue. That petty blue. Yep, you can see her in that petty blue. Joey Logano leads in that 22 car. Yeah, that Pennzoil Ford, he leads it. Jenny Wakeman, though, looking. Oh, look at Dana Patrick. She's also looking. In that 10. Go, Daddy car. But it's not going to be enough. Joey Logano leads it at the caution. Let's go and take a look at the replay and see what happened. All right, let's go and see. It looks like, uh, from what it looks like, it looks like Chase Elliott does something here in the 25, Napa. Yeah, he gets into, it looks like Denny Hamlin inside the 11. Yeah, Denny Hamlin inside the 11. Uh, forces them down into Brad Carbuncle in the 7. Yeah, forces them down into Brad Carbuncle. And she's on from there, and then Brad Carbuncle collects another, <laughs> another, uh, NRL driver. Ooh, ooh. A hard hit into that inside uh, outside wall, I should say. Ooh, a hard hit. Uh Kyle Larson into the 32 of Mr. Krabs. Oh wow. Uh looks like uh Eric Almarola is that inside of the 43 also involved? Yep, I think so. Yeah, that's Eric Almarola inside the 43. Let's ride on board with Chase Elliott. He just came up just a little bit. Just a little. Just just a tad. That's just enough. Oh, hard, hard, hard hit. Oh, hard hit again. Got T-boned. Yeah, I think so. Now we ride on board while listening Outside. to Brad Spotter. Outside. Outside. More wide, you're on bottom. More wide, you're on bottom. More wide, you're on bottom. You alright, Brad? So it looks like out of all of that, Billy Bob, Eric Almirola, Kyle Larson, and Mr. Krabs were all eliminated from that wreck. They will not continue. They are retired from the race. And we will be going back green flag racing here in the next few laps. As we will be restarting here on lap number 7 of 15 in the scheduled distance for the 2021 Daytona 500. Your top three is Joey Logano. Inside the 22, the 9 car of Ginny Wakeman, and the 10 car of Danica Patrick. As the pace car is about to pull in. And we are ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. The green, day turn up 500 go. is back green. You're still clear all around. Still clear all around. If the 10 car back, 10 car back trying to push. Still clear all around. Still clear all around, Jenny. Still clear all around. 9 and 10 kind of working together, it seems like. Oh, here comes the Jimmy Johnson stepping out, and here comes here comes Jenny Wakeman stepping out! Drive, get that side drive, get that side drive. Jenny Wakeman to the inside of Joey Logano for the lead! Outside. Jimmy Johnson, seven-time champion, outside. going in there to help her. Outside. outside. Fantastic outside. stuff. Jenny Wakeman outside. leads it. Corey Ace with you. Outside. 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 Oh, Ricky Stenhouse. And he oh nearly saves it, but oh my goodness, the three not one car. Oh. Ooh, I cannot believe. How did he not hit anybody? That is incredible. What a save. Ricky Stenhouse, though. Look at him go. But here comes, here comes Jimmy Johnson, though. That 48 car being pushed by Clint Boyer. Clint Boyer in that 15 car. And we got Mr. Aggressive back there as well. The 18 car of Kyle Busch. Lap number nine. Uh, Kyle Busch to the inside. Kyle Busch has help from Tony Stewart in the 14. Another retired driver. But not retired here in the world of NRL. No, for sure not. <laughs> Tony Stewart looking to the inside. It's the four car of Kevin Harvick. Don't count him out yet. The closer. He's coming down. There he is. Pushed by the Jeff, pushed by Jeff Gordon. 
and the AA car of Dale Earnhardt Jr. The son of the late great Dale Earnhardt. Lap number 10. Kevin Harvick leads it. Jenny can't find a way around these cars. Yeah, here comes Tuck though. Tuck, I see him in that bomb lane. Tuck falling behind the uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the AA. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins it. Or Dale Earnhardt Jr. leads it. Wins it, believe up? Indeed, yes, he certainly did. <laughs> Here comes Tuck on the bomb lane, though. It's all an accordion. Like I said, it's always the bottom line's always the most dominant. I said that during the Nicktoon shootout. And I'm going to say it here. It always happens. Yep, it always happens. Jenny Wakeman moving down low. Trying to see if maybe she can assist. Tuck Carbuncle here and trying to maybe etch his way into Daytona 500 lore. He wouldn't be the first NRL driver to do things. No, but certainly the Cup guys are definitely showing up here today. I was hoping for that. Yeah, the Cup guys are certainly showing up here today uh, versus the uh, Nicktoons uh, Daytona 500 of last year for sure. Three wide here for second. Jimmy Johnson down low. Jimmy Johnson trying to make a move on that inside. My goodness, it's just a it's just a back and forth battle and accordion of just different leaders and different drivers all here in this lead back. Jimmy Johnson looking to the inside. Jimmy Johnson looks to the inside of the 88. We're on lap number 12. Jimmy Johnson to the inside. Me Johnson will take the lead there. Danica Patrick, will she do something? In real life, she never actually won a race. Oh, no! Darren Hart goes spinning! Darren Hart into the wall and over! Caution is out, I think. Yes, there is. Caution is out. Jimmy Johnson! Unbelievable. Jimmy Johnson wins! Holy cow! <laughs> Seven time becomes a Daytona 500 champion. That is miraculous. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson with only a few more laps to go. Remember, we do not have green white checkers here. In this league, or even in this race, really, we do not have green-white checkers. We have to finish the race within the scheduled distance. And ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Johnson is going to win this race. That is for sure. That is unbelievable. Jimmy Johnson, what more could you say? What could be more special than this win for Jimmy Johnson? Unbelievable. As it is the final lap right now, they will coast across the finish line. 2021 Daytona 500 champion is the seven-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, tying the all-time greats Richard Petty and the late great Dale Earnhardt in most championships won by a single driver. Billy Bob's pick. Yo, you damn right. He certainly was. And he comes across the line, and he will win the 2021 Daytona 500. Let's take a look at the replay uh, because I want to see what happened. Yeah, same here. I really want to see what happened too. Oh, it looks like, uh, well, I mean, we were literally just talking about Danica Patrick in that 10 car. Yep, we were just talking about her. Unfortunately, that's about how her real life career went too. Um, she would always um, either unintentionally or intentionally wreck uh, drivers uh, regardless of whatever happened. And she never won a race because of that. Gets into the 18 car. Sense. Oh my gosh. That's a hard hit. That is a hard hit. Oh my gosh. Collects a few of our cars. Kevin Harvick. Is he Tony Stewart? Jeff Gordon. Brad Keselowski in the two. You can still see Dale Earnhardt Jr. on the top. Skidding across the wall. Man, oh man. This might hurt. Oh.
And since we have it, let's listen to Jenny's spotter audio. Inside. 24's helping, 24's pushing. Oh, we got a wreck, we got a wreck down low. Whoa, 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 whoa. Barely squeak by. Yeah, no kidding. Barely squeak by. But yeah, Dan Capacitor just gets into the 88. Yeah, Dan Capacitor just gets into the 88, spins them down to the racetrack to the infield. Thank God. Dale Earnhardt Jr. did not hit that guardrail like Jenny Wakeman did. Oh, don't even remind me about that. Just a hard hit. Yeah, regardless, that is a hard hit. Both of these, both of these cars, you know, both of the uh, similar points in the race. Yeah, similar points in the race. Both of these cars hit terribly, terribly hard. Jenny Wakeman and both uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Talking, of course, about both Daytona 500s that have happened up to this point. Yep, indeed. For the sake of time, we will briefly go through the top 10 because there's a lot of cars in the field. Yeah, there is. There is certainly a lot of cars in the field. First is Jimmy Johnson, seven-time champion. He wins the Daytona 500. Second, Kyle Busch. Third, Clint Boyer. Fourth, Tuck Carbuncle. Fifth, Carl Weezer. Oh, man, I didn't even notice those guys were in the top few. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, no kidding. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is in sixth, along with Jenny Wakeman in seventh. Eighth is Brad Carbuncle. Ninth is Denny Hamlin. And tenth is Chase Elliott. Congratulations to Jimmy Johnson for winning the 2021 Daytona 500. For my partner, Billy Bob, me, and Larry McDonald's, we will see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.